ma'am ivf and icsi more or less both the treatments are uh, same so uh, how can a couple select between ivf and icsi yeah, so what we do see ideally when I told you about IUI, I told you that's for low counts. Mm. Now when we tell 15 million is the average normal count, so anything less than that. But for IUI to succeed, you need a count of at least 6 to 8 motile sperms, 8 million per ml motile sperms. So this is an average for IUIs. Now once the sperm count decreases to less than 5 million per ml, that is when we offer, the, offer them IVF or IEXC. In IVF, we need a motile sperm count of more than 2 million at least. So okay. between 2 to 5, we opt for IVF. Whereas if the count is less than 2, where it is called severe oligoasthenoteratospermia, or they have immotile cilia, there is no movement at all for the sperms. Or in certain cases, they have nil sperm count where we extract the sperms from their testis. There's a procedure known as testicular sperm aspiration where we put a fine needle and take out the sperms from there. So in such three situations, we have to proceed with ICSI because the IVF may fail. So mm. In these patients, we have to select the sperm and inject it into the egg because they may not fertilize otherwise if left for IVF. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.